and just loses the rear end. Goes over the front of the motorcycle, right down on his right shoulder. Something that you just never see happen in all of Miguel's victories here, but gets back up, gets running, picks the bike back up. I want to say. Yeah. I like that number. Up about that, and then some rather unsavory scenes. Unfortunately, Larry Pegram went down and took out Chris Paris. He sure did. He got in there just a little bit hot, had to pull the front brake. There was nothing he could do about it at that point. And uh, poor Chris Paris just was uh, at the wrong place at the wrong time. And both BMW riders. Coming down into the corner, Dane Westby and Sean Hill, they get together, but keep watching. There comes Santiago Villa. Now let's take a look at this in slow motion. Again, you see Westby and Hill dealing with the rider on the inside. That's Santiago Villa way back in the distance. Not sure what happened to him or what caused him to come flying into the gravel here. I think Dane just got in there, you know, and maybe misjudged it just a touch or that. on the number four remember first second and third right here as you see him oh josh hayes is off and another hard crash on the weekend for josh hayes this time in turn six and comes in a little too hot and the victim of that one was not only himself but attacked Kawasaki's Eric Bostrom. Yeah, unfortunate for Eric, but it looks like they've been able to prepare, repair that bike and get him back out there. Jamie goes in. Yeah. He's gone. Hacking is gone and someone went right over the top. I think that was Jeff May. Huge crash on the front straight. And Hacking alerting the riders coming through in this massive field. To avoid the bike, and look how he almost saved it. That rear end slide came so early, of course, when it hooked up. And look at Jeff oh, May. Oh, no. As he comes over the top and slams down on the ground, he gets up, but he certainly hit his, heart, his head pretty hard and just came down on that right shoulder, trying to get out of the way. That's just adrenaline. And then Roger Hayden and Aaron Gobert and a whole holster ride Benatar came around the outside, but right there, that is the rear tire breaking away. Look, you can see the black mark, and Jamie's trying to hang on. Wow. Oh, man. And Jeff May had no place to go. I've been in that situation before, actually. Good avoiding act. Salvo wins 
the Daytona 200. Wow. And this race ends in spectacular fashion. And as I said, this one will be spoken about for a variety of reasons for years to come. De Salvo gets Ducati's first ever win in this circumstance as he contacts the front brake of Dane Westby. It slows him up enough and Taylor Knapp comes through from behind and collects Westby and the bike goes up into the wall. Watch the front angle. It shows it more clearly. It sure does. Heron's up there. Everybody's fighting for position right there. He's up high, and he's thinking, I got to get back down, man. I got to get back down and get the draft off the 40 and the 57 is exactly what he's thinking. And when he makes that move down, his elbow right, as you'll see there, touches the front brake. Taylor Knapp runs oh. into the back of him. And, man, oh. these two guys go for the ride of their life. And yep. both of them. Jump up and walk away. How lucky was 291 Scott Decker who saw it all happening in front of him. And again. Not out fast. Round they come. Oh, oh my and God, again. My God. I think all as we set the final corner.